There are three chapters that your pastor is going to use when he's talking about a socialist agenda, so to speak. Either a communist to social regime. Socialism, more accurately. Socialist regime. And obviously, the countries that you can think of that's very much involved, especially during this uh, coronavirus situation, is definitely this nation, China. China is one of the P countries that you want to look at that's, infect, that's infesting, so to speak, worldwide. It's going all over the world, so to speak. It is not old news. A lot of people already know this. They're already, and this is already told by mainstream news concerning about manu, uh, manufactured products and business-wise, all the nations are depending upon China. And that is no longer a conspiracy. That is now mainstream news. We even heard the governor from uh, New York. We've also heard some, heard some politicians already mentioning about that, that America has to amp up their own products. Australia has been very concerned about that and then a lot of other nations. We already saw the Italians getting upset with the EU and they're burning down uh, flags and replacing it with Russian Ch and even Chinese flags because of what? They're offering the product and to them the Italians EU is failing. So we already see this dependency that is spreading around. This communism, socialism, or this Chinese influence that is spreading. Now, cultural sensitivity people, please don't get on me about this Chinese influence, okay? Just please shut up, you know what I mean, okay? So I'm not dubbing all Chinese people are part of communism, socialism, okay? Please calm down, don't get sensitive. When I say Chinese influence, I'm talking about China, their government. Okay, so please show me a little mercy on that one and calm down. So, Revelation 13, 1 will explain that. One is the Antichrist. The Antichrist, the way that he moves and takes action, will be based on a socialist, communist platform. Why? Because it is the feat of of a bear. Now I'm not going to explain that. I would recommend you to watch my YouTube video, Seven Headed Dragon and Ten Horn Antichrist. Seven Headed Dragon, Ten Horn Antichrist. That will prove that the bear has to be referring to a communist socialism agenda. And the country mainly involved, actually more than China, is Russia. But today, we can see that China is the one taking action and attention now. Okay, so let's look at over here. Verse 2, And the beast, the Antichrist, which I saw, was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a what? Bear. The beast is based off the body of a leopard. Body, body, body of a leopard. So the main body country and just watch that video that I recommended to you is the United States of America, undoubtedly. And it will move like what? Bear. Which is what? There you go. Left wing. And that's a no-brainer. We're already seeing that in our United States. They're already pushing more of a left wing agenda because of that. Let's also look at what the Bible says concerning about China. We're going to look at Revelation chapter 9. Revelation chapter 9. And then we'll, we're going to look at the numbers over here. Let's look at the numbers. Verse 15. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. Look at that. The Antichrist world, one third of it is slain. That's crazy. Who's going to uh, attack this, the world of the Antichrist? Well, think about the country that is always, and the United States had trouble dealing with. It's Russia, and Russia's allies, if you look at a lot of their allies, it's going to include China. The number of the army of the horsemen were what? 
200,000, thousand, and I heard the number of them. That's, that's hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions. And if you compare that one, that passage is going to match up with Revelation 9, uh, 16. Look at this. Look at the location they're from. The location they're from. If you look again at Revelation 9, it says that they were come from the Euphrates River region, right? Okay, so this will explain more about the Euphrates River region, what nation it is. Look at Revelation 16, verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. Okay, so this is Euphrates, that region. Look at this, that the way of the what? Kings of the East might be prepared. Look, there is no doubt, if you want to look at the East countries of the East, so to speak, which country would have the numbers of that hundreds of millions? China. And then you can include their allies with Russia and other nations as well. How about that? And what? A third part wiped out. How about that? But you notice that the nations, the Antichrist nation, is dependent on their kind of ideology, their kind of system. See, that, that has to happen. That has to happen. Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. It has to happen. So because it has to happen, that's why these current events that are going on, when you look at all the troubling things that are going around our world, you see big shot leaders, you see globalists, and you see politicians, and even systems of countries where we're, and the people depending or being influenced or having connections to China. So here's something interesting. The, WH, uh, the title of this article, and you can confirm it, okay? So you don't have to depend on this source that I'm going to read to you. That's what I'm going to say as a disclaimer one. But I would say this, if you research it, then you can prove it. WHO director was top member of violent Ethiopian Communist Party. Wow. WHO director. Wait a minute. Remember at the beginning, the WHO, where they were saying, in order for us to give you the numbers, and everyone's telling you, look at WHO, look at WHO, they're the ones that have all the numbers. Beware of these conspiracy theory sites, etc. And then I agree with them, you have to beware of the conspiracy theory sites, but to the critics' argument, I don't really trust WHO too, because WHO admitted, we get our numbers from where? We have to wait for them to respond. And now they later catch up saying China has not been really giving us the legitimate numbers. Well, la di da, we've been telling you that. Amen. Now you wonder why WHO was dependent on their numbers. Look at their what? Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. Now, I know that he's part of the Ethiopian Communist Party. And perhaps you can find things where he's disagreeing with China and et cetera. Sure, I can, I can see that. But look, where he's part of the Communist Party, and Communist parties are known for having what? They're Communist allies. And when you have Communist allies, you have disagreements and agreements with each other. So at the very least, the very least I could say is this. The very least is because he is part of this Communist Party, that alone enough is fact and should be something troubling to consider. Amen. Because if I said that the President of the United States is an independent Baptist pastor, every left-wing people will automatically think that because he's connected with the independent Baptist movement, that that's something troubling to them. You'll say the same thing too. Okay. Anyways, aside from that, Here's another, here's another source. Now, this is actually mainstream, so this is no longer conspiracy. And I've gotten this from a person who has very uh, strong connections, okay, with uh, the federal world, so that's all I'm going to say. And he actually gave me this video source. So this is by Gravitas, actually. Their title is Wuhan Coronavirus. Will China profit from the outbreak? 
That's the title of the YouTube video. I highly, strongly recommend to watch that because that's no longer conspiracy, it's mainstream news. And the news journalist says, uh, we're not interested in conspiracy theories. That's what the new journalist said. But then she pointed out all these facts about China where economic-wise, all these nations are depending upon it, about the production of the mask and stuff like that. And she also mentioned over here that it's very strange that after this coronavirus situation where there are people were dying out, that immediately they're picking up the economy. And this is what she said, they're ahead of all the nations right now, ec economically speaking. Yeah. But in that video, she mentions that in the late, late 90s, the, the Chinese Communist Party, by communist generals, had a book. And this book was How to Conquer Nations. And in their book, this is what they said. We can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with America military-wise. The only way we can get ahead of the world is what? Economically. We can be ahead of them economically. This is not from Dr. Jean Kim. This is a mainstream news source. And he got this from a, a person who has more credential background than I do. But if you just doubt me, look, just uh, these silly little trolls, you know. Look, if you just doubt me, look it up in the mainstream news, okay? Mainstream news, okay? And confirm it. Here's something else that's interesting. Some of the people, how they try to debunk the conspiracy about, you know, would the Chinese government with this bio leak, or if it's not a leak, if it's a deliberate thing that they infested their people, why would they deliberately do that where it infects and then kills their own people, right? That's their logic. But you know what's really interesting here? See, this was at an area that a lot of people didn't even heard of the city before until recently, Wuhan. All right, a lot of people, uh, there are some people who never heard about that before. So this obscure region, that's where a lot of the deaths were coming out. But think about the big shot cities, right? Isn't it strange that when you get big shot cities like Shanghai and China, where they had very, very few number of deaths? Wow. You know what? I'm getting this from Gravitas. Now, the numbers may have changed, but look, it's not too, uh, this is not too far-fetched right over here. This is uh, around the date of, let's see, over here. It's not going to show. But this is not too long ago. And you can look at the numbers even right now and check and see if the numbers are low. Be Beijing confirmed cases, 569. Deaths, you know how many? Eight. Shanghai, confirmed cases, 468. You know how many deaths? Five. Look at New York City and look at California. This makes you wonder. Isn't that strange? Very, very strange. Makes you start to think, well, you know, I'm not, a, look, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist, okay? Deny conspiracy theories. We don't care about that. These are facts from statistics and numbers. Now, the number may have changed, so you can look it up at the John Hopkins University and stuff like that. And I, I do want you to look it up because you might be a little troubled when you look at the numbers then. Yikes. Now, is it true that we're getting to a point now where people are getting this kind of more socialist or government control, so to speak? That's the bottom line of these ideologies, right? It's more governmental control, right? That's the bottom line of this Chinese government ideology and communism, socialism. That's why a lot of Bible-believing Christians, churches, right-wingers, etc., whoever, that's why they don't like the system where America's leaning toward left wing because the bottom line is governmental control, right? Yeah. Now, is America following the pattern? Well, it's very interesting where Robert Kennedy Jr., yeah, part of the powerful Kennedy family. And that guy has been receiving attention. He posted this video where you can look at his Facebook account and he, and he showed, which is very interesting, how China was able to uh, prevent more number of deaths was because everybody's technology and phone was getting tracked about if you're a yellow light or a green light or a certain light. 
And because everybody's being tracked about if you have the virus or not, that's why we can prevent this pandemic effect where this coronavirus is infecting more people. Now that's very inviting and it is understandable if you don't believe in the Bible. And I have to admit this, if you're all about politics, it is understandable and I would even go for that too. And that's what Satan goes for. Look, when he sets up his antichrist socialist government, it's not going to be based on bad arguments. It's going to be based on good, legitimate arguments. Satan's not stupid. The only thing that prevents us from following that is what? What God prophesied at his word. Amen. So is America falling to this in the tech divisions? Uh, let's look at the tech divisions. And look at the, what's so interesting. If you look at that Gravitas video that I mentioned to you, there are these tech companies that have connections with China and their businesses and their branches over there, they're starting up and getting on track. Yeah. So they're going to be more leaning toward this, perhaps. Perhaps, maybe, they'll be leaning more toward the ideology that the Chinese government is promoting. Well, let's look at several examples. This is by uh, the source silicon.co.uk. This is by April 3rd, 2020, by Tom Jowett. Corona, the title of the article is Coronavirus, Google Releases Location Data to Help Authorities Check Lockdowns. Location data is being released by Google in 131 countries so officials can see if people are obeying self-isolating rules. You can double check with that. You can double check with that if you doubt the legitimacy legitimacy of the sources. I'm going to give you basically all these other sources where I might have to say to you that you don't have to believe in the credibility or legitimacy of these sources. I'm just going to quote you these sources what they say and all you have to do is look up these tech companies and see if they're doing that. It's that simple. Do the research. Here's another one. Landing AI explained that the system works. So here's a different tech. Landing AI explained that the system works by using an artificial neural network to detect each person and puts them in a box. Then if two boxes get too close to each other, they change from green to red. Wait a minute, that's kind of similar with what I told you about what Robert Kennedy Jr. warned about what China was doing. At that point, it will be up to the police to send in compliance robots, kill squads, or whatever they have decided we deserve. <laughs> That's what this author complained. A similar technology is already being introduced by Amazon in its warehouses, with the company threatening workers with the sack if they violate social distancing guidelines. Police in Westport, Connecticut are also going to be testing a pandemic drone that monitors citizens' temperatures from almost 200 feet away and detects sneezing and coughing as well as heart and breathing rates. <laughs> Developed by Dragonfly Incorporation. Isn't it interesting? It's almost like Dagon, so to speak. But anyways, that's just something wild. You don't have to believe that part. Yeah, you don't have to believe that. Or Lord of the Flies, yeah. But forget that. Developed by Dragonfly. Dragonfly Incorporation, the software loaded onto the drone cameras also identifies individuals whose safe distance areas turn red if they get too close to each other. Hmm. Here's another one. County launches website for citizens to report neighbors violating stay-at-home order. Residents of Sedgwick County, Kentucky, are being encouraged to report their neighbors to police if they catch them defying the state's stay-at-home order. The county has set up a website for nosy citizens to, what the author complains, to tattle on their countrymen. If it is determined that a non-essential business, quote-unquote, if it is determined that a non-essential business is operating or a non-essential activity is occurring, they will be contacted as appropriate. Now, do I agree 
with every specific with these articles that I read to you just now? I'll admit no, because I cannot uh, confirm the credibility of these sources, but I will tell you one matter of fact statement. They are, tech companies are trying to help out to prevent the pandemic situation where they can keep track of people. That is fact. That is fact. How about that? See, this is what they're, I told you the whole world is what? Basing on what ideology? This is the key I keep trying to tell you. This is the key. Whether it's a communist extreme or a lesser extreme or whether it's connected to China in some way or dependent on China some way, everything is coming down to this matter of fact. And that is demanded. You know why that has to happen? Because how can the Antichrist rule the whole world if they don't have governmental control? How about that? That book is so amazing.